Rice farmers at the Fumbisi and Badalimbisi rice valleys in December 2019 recorded a glut resulting from lack of rice mills, inadequate combined harvesters and warehouses as well as lack of ready market for their produce. The situation compelled government to help secure buyers to mop up the produce that was going bad on the fields and assured rice farmers within the valleys of government commitment to addressing post-harvest losses in the 2020 farming season. Even though the valleys have a potential capacity of 4,700 hectares, only 1,500 hectares were cultivated in the 2019 farming season. However, under the Planting for Food and Jobs program, rice farmers were supported with government subsidized seeds and fertilizer, thus increasing production to 2,786 hectares with a bumper harvest. While government has constructed warehouses in both Busa South and Busa North districts, they are yet to be commissioned for use and access roads to the only rice solar milling machine in Fumbisi and the rice fields are on more trouble. But the rice farmers accuse government of paying lip service to their plight, stressing that the assurances to provide farmers with sufficient combined harvesters, rice mills, warehouses and ready markets are yet to materialize. Some of the rice farmers who were harvesting bemoaned the situation and called on government to urgently come to their aid. I started the, the harvesting since last week, Monday, up to now. Almost 21 acres. How to harvest is, is a big, serious challenge. And another important issue, no buyer. How to dry it is a serious challenge. This is a very huge losses I'm encountering right now. I spent over 150,000 out of 150 acres. But look at the, 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 the challenges I'm facing. Last year, the government said this year they will come and buy the rice. As a chief of uh, the community, Bed and Bellity, I decided that I would join the Farmers Association to farm. And I invested so much into the farm. But look at the, the final results. The farms are very large. And if we get more combined harvesters to assist us, it will help us a lot. Because as we start, before November ending, the whole place will be dry. And that is when bushfires are very prone to burning the farms. So therefore, if government to come into assistance would combine more combined harvesters, tractors and uh, tractor implements, and also source of marketing. You can see from the outside that we are pouring the rice, we have to struggle to kill the rice. But the Bulsa South District Director of Agriculture said government, through his outfit, was on course to addressing some challenges of the rice farmers. We as a department will be able to register some number of uh, uh, aggregators. And already some of them have, even as as last week, some even came to the district for us to start preparing them to see how possible best they can get uh, their produce from the farmers, the farmers to can sell their produce, so as to create a win-win situation. As a matter of fact, today, as I'm saying, we plan to meet all the commercial farm farmers, that's Buskofa, Busa South, uh, uh, Busa South Commercial Farmers Association, to, de to, de to determine which price will we sell to the, uh, uh, the aggregators, the buyers, and the buyers who will tell us how much they will buy. For his part, country director, of International Budget Partnership, Abdul Karim Mohammed pledged their commitment to support peasant farmers at ensuring that duty bearers address their concerns to avert food insecurity. As we are speaking now, you can see that the rice is near maturity, it's almost mature, they have started harvesting. But machinery to support them in harvesting the crops, the machinery to support them in evacuating it from here and the warehousing facilities are all in short supply. And this is where we come in um, to help them advocate and, and let the decision makers 
uh, here they are applied and also uh, mobilize the relevant resources to support them um, in, in getting the needed support so, so that we, we all have food to eat. And, and their effort that they have invested in, in production does not also go waste. Rice farmers here are appealing urgently for combined harvesters, ready market for their farm produce as some go bad on the fields, and also construction of drying platforms to dry their farm produce. Reporting for City News, I am Frederick Awuni, Bedelim BC.